Hey, can can you not? Please. Mmm. Ow, 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 ow. I might just ah. <laughs> this hurts. Okay. You know what? <laughs> You're going into banders. <laughs> Let me collect myself a little bit. Raising children is, of course, the biological imperative. It's the thing that drives everything as a species. The thing is, though, that it's kind of hard. If you're a bird, you've got to lay the eggs. You need to manufacture the eggs. You need to build a nest to put the eggs in. You need to incubate the eggs. You need to protect them while they hatch. You need to feed those chicks. You need to continue feeding them after they've left the nest, the filthy freeloaders that they are. And then, after all that's said and done, you finally have something that may or may not survive to adulthood. Wouldn't it be easier to just cut most of that out? And that's how the cowbird operates. Brown-headed cowbirds are actually what's referred to as a brood parasite. They don't really bother raising eggs of their own. Instead, what they'll do is the females will go around, find an empty nest, and then just lay an egg of their own into it. Those eggs are larger than most other songbird eggs and are kind of programmed to hatch a few days earlier than most of those other ones will. The chick comes out more developed and further along, and so is capable of pushing the other eggs out of the nest. To add more trickery to the pile, those chicks also have begging calls, which are tailored to simulate the begging calls of multiple individual chicks, thereby tricking the parents into bringing way more food than they would ordinarily. Cowbirds are a bit of an unpopular bird, and for good reason. They are parasites, and their habits do massively decrease nesting success. That said, parasites are a part of nature too, and if it makes you feel better, some birds are able to figure out that something's off and will often abandon parasitized nests. My hand hurts.